we got here? We got a, ooh, 410 pump, Mossberg Bantam 510. Gun showers and YouTubers, it is November 3rd, 2023. We're at the CY Sports Center for the Nixa, Missouri Gun Show. Today, I brought a budget of $500. I've been interested in picking up the Ruger Wrangler or a Heritage or two, maybe a 20 gauge pump shotgun or a uh, 308 in youth or a 308 in my size. I need a new hunting rifle. The gun show here starts in about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go get in line. Looks like there's a line building up. All right, guys, we made it into the venue. It is split between this section over here, we've got another section back this way. So we'll just take a walk down here. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we go another section all the way back here. Wow. That's pretty nice. A lot bigger than I thought it was. I had no idea what I was going to get myself into. And so I better start looking. All right, guys, private tables here. We've got an 870. Run an 875 on that guy right there. Wow, oh, got us a beautiful Browning BT-99. 2300 and a Browning Superposed Lightning. 12 gauge, 2000 on this one. Look at that over under. On a MDL 935 pump. Hmm. A Smith and Wesson 380EZ, I believe that's right over here for the tag. Smith and Wesson 3 ez 450. Carl Gustav Stade, 1906 Mauser, 975. Beautiful. Another Winchester MDL, ooh, 20 gauge. Private sale, what's he running on that? Oh, 900, I don't have that much. I only got 500 on me today. He ain't getting that from me. Looks brand new, what are we running here? Look at the finish on this guy. That handle. In this low light, you can see that. Another MDL 12, Winchester 825. A little different furniture there. Running 750 on this one right here. Beautiful firearm. What do we got in here? We got a Austin and Haldick 50 cal muzzle, 675. And the Ruger 1022, all done up. 625. Right, we are looking at private sales again. FM 45, 900 or best offer. A little done up on the slide. There's a Shield 45 plus, and we'll see a price on that one. SIG P226 stainless, 800. We got a SIG at 45, no prime, no price. We got the SIG M17 with Leopold red dot, 900, two mags. We've got us an SKS with a stock red dot, 875. This 4570 looks like lever. What are we running there? Nice looking tactical lever gun. Very nice. Ooh, 10 round AR mags. I know I got to pick a few of them up so we can side in that Delton. Looking at a lot of accessories over here. A lot of accessories. Very nice. Okay, we're looking. At a Henry 22 long rifle, 369. That's not too bad at all. We're running 1350 right here on this Marlin model, the 44 Remington Magnum. Got 1050 on the Ruger Mini 14 and 556. Beautiful guns. Ruger American 65 Brindle, run 550. Remington 780L, 700 Winchester, $600. We've got a Savage threaded barrel. 110 Tactical, 308 Winchester, 750, very nice. We look at this 1022 Ruger Viridian hard case, 450. Very beautiful gun. Comes scoped up, very nice, very nice. Got a pair of them there, and we got the 430 on the 410 pump. I like that. That is something that my kids would absolutely, lengthwise, let me shoulder this. Fast. I was gonna say, you can't go wrong with hmm. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so, yeah. Man, all easy. So a 6.5 Grendel AR mag can fit inside this bolt gun. That is interesting. Do you have a, uh, well, I, I was gonna say, do you have a 6.5 Grendel AR, but? No, there's... but I've, I, I could buy one next to Show. We've Smile, got man. a Winchester Mod 12, 16 gauge, 28 inch so, barrel, A850. Got a 410 gauge. Side by side, 650. Nice. We got the H and R topper, 20 gauge, 190. Private sales again. We've got the 12 gauge double wall hanger, 250. Not too bad. Stevens model 67H, 3 inch 12 gauge, 300. And we are looking at Winchester Super X pump, 12 gauge, 400. Springfield model 44, 12, 944 12 gauge, 150. Single shot. Winchester model 37. Red letter, 20 gauge, 350, and a 20 gauge bell, 20 gauge bell nap, 190, and then a Remington slug gun, 870, full, 870 Express, fully rifled, scoped and ready, 825, collectibles. We've got a Hatfield, 20 gauge, 289, and a Charles Daly, in 410, 230. We've got a Remington, 870, is running. 550 on that price. Got a Savage. 22 long rifle, 260. Got an H&R topper, 410, 250. We've got us a Benelli Nova, 20 gauge. Running 570 on that one. And another Benelli M2, 12 gauge. Running 1319 on that one. Got a Frenchie Renaissance Field, 20 gauge. 1500 and a Benelli Ultralight 12 gauge 1470. Got a Remington Spartan 20 gauge 525 and some Hatfield 20 gauge 200 and a Charles Daly 101 and 410 1 and 230 on that price tag there. Mossberg 590 12 gauge 830 Poland Military M44, 762, 54R, 775. We've got a Torikev 12 gauge pump, 400. We're running a 30 Remington, 81 Woods Master, 1150 with ammo, and an Arinko SKS, 762 by 39, 750. We've got a little 22 long rifle Derringer, 225. A percussion BB pellet, 175. Smith & Wesson, model 1902, 785, and a Kimber 22 long rifle conversion, 400. Colt New Pocket, 1905, 32DA, 850. Got us a Glock, 26 and 9 millimeter, 600. Private sales again, guys. J. Stevens Arms, model 1883, 22 rimfire, 1450. Ivar Johnson, 1908, 38 caliber, 300. Remington Elliott, over under Derringer, 41 RF, 975. That's neat. Remington. Model 514, 322 long and long rifle. A Glenfield Marlin M60 and 22, 230. We've got a Ithaca Mod 72. Saddle gun, 22 long rifle. 22 long rifle, what are we running on this one? I'm gonna have to talk to him. 475, mm, I'm not really looking for 475 on that one. Springfield, 1873 trapdoor, 4570 caliber bore, 675. Argentine Mauser, 250 and 7.63 by 53. And the early, we got to say Winchester 9422M Magnum 1650. I have never heard of that before. Huh. And a 243 Winchester Savage Model 10 450. Ranger over under 575 and 16 gauge. And a Winchester 30 odd 6 Sporterized 350. Got a 303 British 675. And a Remington Model 511P, 22 short, long, long rifle, 275. H&R, 1971. Cavalry, 1200. Saw this gun a few weeks ago, beautiful. We got 300 on this Mauser 16 gauge bolt gun. Huh, I could add that to the bolt gun collection we got. Since we just started collecting bolt 12 or bolt bolt shotguns, Winchester Model 47, 22 short long long rifle, 625 with original peep. Remington Model 510, 22 short long long rifle again, 340. A Model 514 Remington again, 340. And a Marlin 795, 22 long rifle, 150. 
Remington model 742 and 30-06, 600 in an early Marlin auto loader, 22 long rifle only, $200. We got to say Ruger Mini 14, 1250. A coast to coast, 12 gauge, three inch chambered, 285. Running a Winchester model 1894 carbine, 44 WCF, 1900. And a Winchester mod 1829, 32 WCF, 2200. And a Winchester model 94 carbine, 33, 30, 30 caliber, $1,000. And we've got 400 on this Winchester model, 1892, 4440, ugly condition, wall hanger. Rare, 1840 to 1860, made by one for one, real deal Damascus, $1,800, 16 gauge, and 36 cal. Huh. Can you see that in the barrel of Damascus? Crazy. s and n Percussion gun, 3200. We got 750 on this percussion gun right here. And a 36 caliber musket, maker unknown. 300 bucks. Oh yeah, those heat. Got the Glock, 10 millimeter, Gen 4, 875. Beautiful firearm. Yep, oh nice, nice. Yeah, 10 millimeter is not cheap. No, it is not. A collector's model with factory paper box, AR7, marine silver. 625. Look at that. What caliber does it shoot? 22. 22. That is neat. You know, that's the Henry Survival. Well, oh, yes, earlier. to say it's, yeah, it has yeah. to be earlier than that because I know the Henry Survival and that's a. Yeah. Uh, Charter quit making them. Henry took, them took over. Took over. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Uh, we got the Light Colt Commando 556. Thousand bucks. Comes with a 100 round drum mag. Got the PRT and 308. Very beautiful mm -hmm. gun right there. That's a little out of the budget range for the show today. <laughs> 1650, beautiful. Got the F and H 57 box, four papers, 990, beautiful. And the sub 2000 takes Glock mags, Red Lion swivel forearm, 995. Oh, I'm coming. I I seen it walking up this way. I was like, what do we have over here? What is this? The Crossfire MK1 223 over and under 12 gauge. What sorcery is this? How do you load it? 12 gauge is tube fed. Tube fed 12 gauge from the back. Regular AR mags. Okay. Pump. For the 12 gauge or both? Both. Both? One pump does both? Trigger on that side. Selector. Trigger. Oh, man. Factory box. That is crazy. I have never seen anything like that in my life. 220 Swift. Beautiful, M77W, 1975. We've got a 1914 Enfield, British 303, 675. And a 410, single shot, 195. Two pre-bands, in nine millimeter too. Very nice, very nice. All right, tell me about it, what is this? Sliding breech. 12. Sliding breech 12 gauge. That is unique. Man, you've got some unique guns over here. How much you running on it? Tell me, because I know I can't afford it. I can tell already. It's the, I don't want to ask. Oh, price. don't ask. If I got to ask, then I can't afford it. Side of this aisle here. We're running the 730s on the Century Arm Washer in yeah. 9 mil. Nice. AK 9 mil. Nice. Got 700 on this Century Arms AK 47. And we've got another 750 on this 556 done up. A little grayed out furniture there. Man, I've never been to this gun show, um, and I'm glad I'm here. But I would say half the tables are telling me they do not want to be filmed, and I totally 100% respect that. Um, but it's really restricting what I'm able to film and buy. Very nice Kimber Carry, 9mm, 850. Beautiful. Look at that. Marlin, 22 mag. Beautiful. Sorry, I won't get you in camera, brother. We've got a Stevens and 22 Auto, 250. And we've got an over under Stevens 12 gauge with four chokes and tubes, 460. Wow, I like that for the coach gun. I like that a lot. Got a Spanish 12 gauge, 400. Look at that. Shorty too. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Got a new Savage in 22, 375. Got a Taurus Mod 85. Steel, 38 Special, 500, a Bursa 380 Firestorm. I really, do you mind if I pick this up? Yes, sir. Right, thank you. I might, uh, I might ask him every while. I really 
like the way that bursa feels. That is nice. That is nice. Taurus G2C, 9mm, 385. On the Taurus Mod 941, 22 Magnum, 650. Taurus Snub Nose, 485. In 38 Special, and another one 30 Special, 485. Get the SDC Mod CPX, new in box, 380, 350. And the Ruger LCP, 350. A Winchester Model 1200, 365. A Mossberg Mod 600. 12 gauge, 375, and a Mossberg Mod 600 again, 365. Look at this, beautiful. Marlin Mod 25M and 22 Mag, 1600. And a Remington Model 48 Sportsman 20 gauge, 600, beautiful gun. We got new inbox CZ, 950. And a Smith & Wesson 45 Long Colt, 1200. We've got the Rossi, new inbox pump. 22 caliber, 325, the Savage Bull Barrel 17 HMR, 425, a 50 cal new Knight muzzle loader, 250. We've got a Springfield Bolt 22, short, long, long rifle, threaded, 750, very nice. We've got the Henry Survivor, 395, and the new inbox Henry Golden Boy 22 cal, 650. Got us a Henry semi auto 9mm, 1050. One of the guys back there has a decent price on the Gearson and the Beretta clone for the M9, so I might pick that up, but he's also got a good price on a 6.5 Grendel and a um, little pump 410 that I saw, so I'm kind of curious about stopping in, checking in with him, and buying that. The Howell 1500 and a 308. Very nice, all done up, 1550 out of my budget. We got the Rock Island 1911, 45 ACP, on a 600, Kimber Custom 2, 900, another Rock Island, base model, 509, a little high on me. Gearson P35 Match, 9x19, 650, the Gearson, MC 1911, 9x19, 520, and then we got the Gearson now. Got a Beretta clone here, we know how I feel about my Berettas lately. With the D Cocker, mm, 480. His prices are uh, built in out the door, so we might be looking at that. Got 550 running on this Smith and Wesson MP 2.0. We've got a Glock 19X running 640 on that guy right there. We've got an ATI GSG Firefly 22 long rifle, 260. That's not a bad price on that. 260. It's got the hammer. Not too bad. Taurus TX 22. 22 long rifle, 320, Bursa Thunder, 380 ACP, 300. Oh, we've been looking for the 380. Been looking at the 380. I bought a bunch of 380 ammo and I don't own a single 380. I slipped up and pushed the wrong button. Six hour P322, 22 long rifle, 550. They're running. The 380 Max is pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, no, I was looking at the Ruger 380s. I'm still, I'm still interested in the other ones we were talking about. I have, you've, you've got, you, me and y'all buy a gun for you today. I, oh man, I gotta buy a bunch of ammo first. That's if I save any money. If I spend all 500, it'll be on that, and I won't get no ammo today. Um, but yeah, we got the Bursa Thunder 380, 300. I like the price on that one too. And the Ruger LCP Max 380, 420, with a lock box, Glock 20 and 10 millimeter. 620, Glock 48, 9x19, 540, Taurus and 357. We got 400 on this one. 430 on the Ruger SR22. Then we've got a Ruger 1022 Charger for 350. We've got 519 on this Smith & Wesson 642 and 38 Special. We've got a Smith & Wesson Equalizer 9mm, Easy Rack. Mags, 499, 500. Got 600 here on the Smith & Wesson Shield 30 and 670 on this Ruger LCRX 9x19. Smith & Wesson 686 Plus and 357 Mag, 1050. What kind of ARs are we running? What brand, what brand are we looking at? What kind of prices are we going with ARs at this show? FPF 556 M Lock 750. Got a nice finish on that. I don't think I've seen FPF at the shows before. It's, uh, it's my brand. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Awesome. No, that, thank you for telling me that. I am stuck between this gear sign right here simply because, simply because 
It matches the last two purchases I've made going with the uh, Chiapa M922 and then the Beretta 92 FS I just picked up. What would be your uh, cash out the door price for that one? For this one, if I, I'm looking between three of your guns, we've already talked about the Ruger American and 6.5 Grendel, because I'm debating now. You don't have to shoot me too low. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Let's, yeah, let's no, dicker, brother. I'm, I'm thinking, Tell me 480. We, we, we can go from. Well, well I'm yeah, going 480 out the yep, door. Yep, yep, sorry, yep, yep, so, yep. Um, What's your best? Like 450. 450. Yeah. Ooh, you've probably got me. Let's talk one more gun. Let's talk one more gun. What about this Marsberg 410? Would you take 400? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'd do okay. 400. All right. Um, but that's that's where I was at. What would you get, sir, if you had to pick? You had my five hundred dollars in your pocket. I would. You know what? If you got, I would get one. Of, get that, youth, that 410. You get that, all so right, you let's get, get that youth you 410. Teach your daughter. All right, you're right. You know what I'm you're saying? right. You're right. I like it. I like it. Well, they could go out and do something with you. I appreciate <laughs> your insight, sir. Triple out buck. Let's grab. Let's get five boxes of the triple out buck. That'll do it. Sixty. Here she is. Alrighty. Perfect. Thank you much. So much. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. All right, guys, we got the background check running now for the Mossberg 410 and youth. Just picked up uh, five boxes of triple lot buck for it. I'm gonna try to find some bird shot next. Oh, I see the gun moved off the table. It did. Has the, has the government granted me my the, the delay yet? The government has given us permission to do business. Yay! Let us do business, sir. All right, guys, if you've liked this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment. Oh, what a beautiful long day driving out to Nixon, Missouri. It was about a four and a half hour drive. Got out here, picked up the Mossberg 410 pump. Picked up five boxes of ammunition. We got a Tapco 10 round SKS magazine and an AR-15 10 round magazine. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and follow me on future adventures.